did you know these members of the church that was helping out this gal across the street? Those are Lily's church friends okay. that have come, been coming over and helping her. Okay. You know, they're they well, that's they, really nice. they're not able to haul sandbags around, so it's okay. it's they, been wonderful. Yeah. We've had groups. We've had group of mm -hmm. college kids. Mm -hmm. We've had the church group. Just all neighbors really almost helping each other, and then finishing up their own work. So it really has been, you know. Okay. That's the good part. The bad part's the flood. Right. So, right. So you guys are all set. Everything's ready now. Some more work inside in case we got first floor flooding. Um, there's things I want to move up. Grandma's antiques. <laughs> Out of the basement. That's what uh, we just, We don't have a basement. We have just a crawl space, but just main floor. They said on the news that it could be a main floor issue this year if it gets bad. We're just hoping for Better's the best. Ready. Now so you're, you are moving stuff out. We're starting right now. Right now, we have a friend that lent us um, the flatbed, and so right now my son and I are gonna move out some of the furniture just from the first floor. Okay. Just in case, and then the rest will, of course, go upstairs. Only because they've said that there's such a high snowpack that this could be a little bit more right. than what they're, they've hoped for. Are you guys worried at all? Kind of less day by day because we've mm -hmm. just been putting in a lot of work. I told Gloria today that the sense of urgency, maybe it's not a good thing, but I don't have that feeling right now. Okay. Um, just kind of doing what we can, preparing the best we can, and mm -hmm. still mowing the yard and feeding the kids. I also think you hit a point where, where you're you're tired. You've done what you can, and now, and we've really been fortunate. We're hearing good news about the weather the forecast. forecast. So we just have to wait a couple of weeks. You think we can talk to your sure. neighbor real sure. quick? Lily! Just ask her, say something wonderful. about the guys from the church. Yeah. Yeah. I got them on video earlier. Oh, but. Good. That's, that's really good. <laughs> Where's she at? Stayed out on the porch more. Lily, can you say anything about the people from the church that helped you out earlier? Oh, I think they're wonderful. I just called my deacon, and she in a few hours had several people over here, and then another group came this morning. I can't say enough nice things about them. It's this Westminster Presbyterian Church, and uh, I just, I don't know what else to say on that. I just am so impressed and almost overwhelmed by all of it. I feel truly blessed. Now, have you been through a situation like this before? No. It's the first time? <laughs> yes, that's correct. Well, that river's right in your backyard almost there. Uh, yes, I got up this morning, I thought, oh my goodness, it's out of its banks. <laughs> yep. So uh, is it up quite a bit higher than it was yesterday? I can't really tell. I think so, but I really don't know. So I just have to take their word for it, and when it comes over the berm, I'll run. <laughs> oh. Could you tell us your name, Lily? Lily Rogers. And how long have you been here for then? It's been almost 18 years now. Almost 18 years and never seen it this high before? No, it came up in the yard one time, but it didn't come from the river. It came across rather than from the river, so this is the first time for us. Okay, you'll be all right there. Um, I'm counting on it. <laughs> Anything else you'd like to say? This may no, be on 9 News I, later. Well, not only are my church people wonderful, so are the neighbors. I mean, it's been a collective effort, and I just can't say enough nice things about them either. <laughs> bunch of people out front are doing filling them up that thing comes up three feet it's going to be coming in the yard here